Hello there. In this video, we're going to show you how to get started with Zoho Flow. Visit zoho.com slash flow and sign up for a Flow account. If you already have a Zoho account, just click on Access Zoho Flow. You'll now be directed to create your own organization. Every account on Flow is an org account by default, which means your teammates can join in and create flows at any time. Once you've entered your organization's name, the time zone, and date format, click Create, and you'll be brought into your new automation space. Let's first have a quick peek at each screen and flow through another account. The dashboard helps you analyze key metrics, such as the success rates of all your flows, the My Flows section displays all your flows so you can easily access, activate, or delete them whenever you need. The Settings section lists the tools you need to manage your account. It'll show you the details of your organization, the history of all your flows, your connections, which is the list of apps you've allowed Flow to access, and the members of your organization. So here's the case we're going to solve in this video. Let's say a new mail is received in Zoho Mail. And we want a corresponding event to be created in Google Calendar automatically. So how can we accomplish this using Zoho Flow? Let's start at the beginning. Each flow consists of a trigger that sets the flow in motion and actions which are tasks that follow automatically afterward. Here, a new email being received will act as the trigger and an even being created is the action that will occur automatically from then on. To get started on creating this flow, let's click on the Create Flow button, enter the name of our flow, a suitable description for it, and then hit Create. Once we're in the builder, the first step is to decide the type of trigger our flow needs. There are two types of triggers, app-based, which are tied to specific events, and schedule-based, which occur at predetermined intervals like every day, week, month, etc. Here we need an app-based trigger because the flow should initiate for every new email. After choosing app-based, we need to select the specific app that triggers our flow. Let's pick Zoho Mail and then click Next. We now see a list of triggers available for this app. Let's select New Mail and click Next. Now to configure this trigger, we need to connect our Zoho Mail account to Flow. A connection is an authorization for Zoho Flow to access data from this app. Let's click Connect, give our connection a name, and then authenticate the app. Note that this step can differ from app to app depending on the authentication scheme of the app. We now select this specific folder which will receive this email and that will be events and click done. Our flows trigger is now set. Next, we need to drag and drop the action onto the builder. In this case, We'll choose the Add Quick Event action under Google Calendar. And to configure it, we can either create a new connection or choose from the ones we've already configured. We now enter the required fields under Action Configuration. and hit down. We've now set up the action. From here, we can add multiple actions or even use logic to introduce decisions and delays between any two steps in the flow. We'll discuss flow's logic elements in detail in our next video. For now, we just need the add quick event action. So let's save this flow and then switch it on. And that's how you create a working flow from scratch. 
Now, if you wish to skip everything we've talked about and go live with your flow in seconds, quickly navigate to the flow gallery, select a pre-built flow and get going right away. We'll discuss the flow gallery in detail in another video as well. Help documentation can be found at the top right of the page. And if you're still stumped, don't hesitate to shoot us an email. We hope this video has helped you dip your toes into Zoho Flow. With our series of videos and a bit of practice, you'll be swimming in no time. Thanks for watching.